COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown has further exposed Zimbabweans, mostly the vulnerable groups, to anger. At a time when many Zimbabweans are forced out of the safety of their homes to look for basic foodstuffs like mealy meal, cooking oil and sugar and the meatiest of restricted movements, many vulnerable groups like the disabled are left with little means to get around, no resources to support them during this difficult time. As a result, the Nozizwe Mother of Nations Trust in collaboration with the Maureen Terira Foundation and other organizations has stepped in to assist people living with disabilities in the city of Bulawayo by giving them food to ampers to sustain them during the lockdown period. Amako Sigazimiti caught up with Iris Nozizwe Mtlanga, the founder of the Nozizwe Mother of Nations Trust, who highlighted that the trust has assisted over 40 families during the lockdown period and they are looking forward to helping more families. Uh, local donations that we've done with this COVID-19 lockdown, we've basically targeted uh, the families that have been on our database uh, all along with a few random uh, donations as people come up to us and ask for assistance, in, especially in the locations where people can't get around, get to the supermarkets or line up. Um, uh, the disabled people can't be lining up for food and things like that. So taking that in, into consideration, that's what we've done um, by going out there into the locations, places like uh, Luveve, Chabalala, Makokoba, Ngulumani, Mkanwini, and uh, the city centre as well. We have uh, various families that we sponsor, and during this lockdown, we've managed to assist about 40 families um, in partnership with um, our partners, uh, Maureen Terera Foundation. Now, what we've given them so far is 320 bags of mealy meal, uh, 10 kg bags. We've done 32 uh, cooking oil, uh, 32 uh, by 2 kg flour, uh, 16 bars of uh, laundry soap. We've also done 10 packs of salts, um, clothes, shoes, books, um, things like that, that, that the, a basic family would need. Um, normally, people always think of food and never think of clothes or blankets or things like that. So we try, with the help of the community, to help out in any way we can. Citizens who have benefited from the donations that have been made by the Trust have expressed their gratitude to the organizers, with some stating that they had gone for days without food since they were not prepared for the lockdown period. I'm a beneficiary of the food stuff that have just come here in Watch 21 Chawalala Extension, and I just want to thank Harriet and Nozizu, mother, no, mother of Nations, that has come through radar. Uh, via Tino, and we just want to thank you for the things that we've received. We've received uh, mealy milk, cooking oil, flour, disinfectant, soap, and that's going to go a long way just for, for this time. But we thank you for the things that you've brought to us. Thank you. Hey, we want to thank Nozizwe, uh, Mother of Nations, and uh, Iris Nlanga for such a wonderful uh, uh, parcels that we received today through the Randa Foundation uh, for the people living with disabilities. Uh, thank you so much, ladies. Uh, this will go a long way. As we said, there's probably been days and uh, we've run out of food because uh, it was too short notice so with was over the lockdown. And what happened was we were not prepared enough to, you can't have a plan for 21 days in two days time. So what has happened over the past week is we're missing some meals, we're skipping some meals, we didn't even have in where we did not see here. So we're sustaining an impinua and the impinua ran up with 20 pounds of which we can't afford to buy 10 kg even if it's on black market. But we call them a shop, it's too expensive, we're doing about 180, 150. So impinua you need starts and maybe early in the morning and later. So we are now forced to eat once or eat some veggies all alone when it has trial just because we don't have a choice. It is fine, Peter. It's how it is. Thank you a lot, young people. According to Nozizwe Mshanga, most disabled women in rural areas do not have much information about social services or where they can get help. As a result, the trust is reaching out to such people and ensuring that their needs are taken care of. Reporting for Amakosigazi Media, I'm Marvelous Matswimbo.